in a society that values knowledge and reason above all else. A hero, not unlike the ones of forbidden lore, will risk everything in the name of fantasy and imagination. Pencil for a second? Sure. Thanks. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I was thinking the same thing. Okay. Thank you. See, check out Thucydides at 12 o'clock. Oh my god. Oh god. How's the bedtime story coming along? I've been working on that for a while, haven't you, Sisyphus? More like Sisyphus. That's what I meant, that's what I meant. You know, Herodotus would roll over in a sarcophagus if he knew you were daydreaming and wasting your time on fiction. You've lost your way, Amelia Earhart. Oh my god. Heretic. Heretic. Heretic, heretic, heretic. Hey, Cornelius, your articulation is obviously your Achilles heel. <laughs> Come on, let's make like Moses and X this. Don't mind them. You were my Peloponnesian lecture class, weren't you? Cliff, right? Yeah. Gwyneth. Hi. It's nice to meet you. What you working on there? The rise and fall of Mulva, the woman's reign. No wonder they give me a hard time. Fiction holds about as much water as a modern-day Roman aqueduct. Well, you know, I'm just kind of tired of his story. Well, just don't let Professor Bumbledum find out. See you around. Next before this council, Mr. Cliff Faust. Mr. Faust, you are under scrutiny by this tribunal for a number of offenses. Not the least of which is the introduction of new ideas to society that have no basis in historic fact, the perusal of forbidden documents, and public daydreaming. What do you have to say for yourself? Mr. Faust, yeah. please speak up. <clears throat> uh, um, uh, the, uh, the, his the history of history is based entirely on fantasy, on myth. You all are trying to divide the two. There are members of this tribunal. I speak of even you, Professor Bumbledum, who 
whose earlier works are based undeniably on rocky historical <laughs> Enough! Your disrespect for this council leaves us no choice but to revoke your historian's license. And your library card! Yeah. Uh -huh.